Uh, this morning, Secretary Kerry informed me that after extensive public outreach and consultation with other cabinet agencies, the State Department has decided that the Keystone XL pipeline would not serve the national interests of the United States. I agree with that decision. This pipeline would neither be a silver bullet for the economy, as was promised by some, uh, nor the express lane to climate disaster proclaimed by others. What we should be doing is passing a bipartisan infrastructure plan that in the short term could create more than 30 times as many jobs per year as the pipeline would, and in the long run would benefit our economy and our workers for decades to come. The pipeline would not lower gas prices for American consumers. In fact, gas prices have already been falling steadily. The national average gas price is down, to, uh, down about 77 cents over a year ago. So while our politics have been consumed by a debate over whether or not this pipeline would create jobs and lower gas prices, we've gone ahead and created jobs and lowered gas prices. Shipping dirtier crude oil into our country would not increase America's energy security. What has increased America's energy security is our strategy over the past several years to reduce our reliance on dirty fossil fuels from unstable parts of the world. In fact, for the first time in two decades, the United States of America now produces more oil than we buy from other countries. America is now a global leader when it comes to taking serious action to fight climate change. And frankly, approving this project would have undercut that global leadership. 